Washer fluid low. Add fluid. Hmm. You okay if I recycle some of your metal? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Thank you. What's really eyeballing was this stuff. I'm not sure what it is, but I was thinking it might have been a uh, deck cleaner. I was hoping it was the washer fluid. Two pieces. Oh, I see some aluminum as well. Yay, the truck ain't empty. This might be steel, actually. It feels heavy. I don't know. Oh, that's aluminum. So at 60 cents a pound, or two pounds, that's a buck or two. All right, quick look here. We're good, we're good. Mm -hmm. These two, yeah. All right, we're out of here. Is that a shepherd's hook or a? Cool. <laughs> Almost got me. Hello, scrap man. What's up? That looks like a nice shelf. Except for one little issue. That is solid. That's real wood. Hmm. I have so much shelving in my shop, in my garage, in my house. Hmm. Wait a minute. Those oven mitts? Something in there. Nope. It feels extra heavy. Why are you so heavy? Oh, it's a. Those are freezer packs. Yeah. That's kind of cool. What's that? Up? A bed for a for dolls or something. All right. Finding anything good? Uh, just starting. So okay. All right. Looks like you're out too. Yeah. Just trying to find a couple of things. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thanks. You yep. too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't I get the exact same thing in the last video? I think so. Or I got two of them. A motorcycle trash picker? No way. Anything good? Just found that. You found that? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dude. I was on the floor, man. Dude, I, I, dude, if I rolled up and someone said that to me, I'd be like, dude, how could I miss this? Um, I just got in. Come on in, because I can't take anything anywhere. Yeah. No, it doesn't look like too much metal there, and that's really what I'm looking for. Oh, you're just looking for that? But I don't know. That free sign makes me think there's something, might be something special. Yeah, they had something going on a little earlier. Okay. But uh, wasn't able to see Hey, he invited me up to the scrap pile. What is that, like a little 175? Uh, 125. 125, wow. Oh, it kicks though, it's a lot Does of Does it? Fun. Yeah, it's uh... It's probably super high rev, isn't it? It is, Like 9,000 RPM or something crazy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh... I mean, That's... It's, it's, dude, it's fun though. Okay. Wow. It, what year is it, like two years old, one year old? Brand new, 
brand. Oh, this is pr that's brand new. Oh no way. Yeah, it's brand new. 2023, huh? 2023, it's, it's fun, man. It's a great toy. I have an electric bike, but I mean, it's it's nothing compared to that kind of fun. Right. All right, I just scored. I got the tire pump. So that thing probably goes full speed then. This thing will, with me, I'm about 210. Uh, if I've got no wind, I'm not fighting anything, I'll probably get about 63, 64. Okay. On a tuck. Yeah, but it, it just sips gasoline. Dude, I'll get, uh, <laughs> it does just sip it. Yeah. If I'm riding real nice, I'll probably get like 120 miles, 130 a gallon. <laughs> Dude, it is awesome. So for a hundred and something miles, you're talking four bucks. Yes. All right. Dude, I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. So, you know, when it's not too windy, like tomorrow morning, I'll bring it into work. Right. And I work about 30 miles out. That is pretty sweet. So it's probably not cheap then. Uh, it was, the MSRP is 35. 10, 30, okay, really? 3500. So I was thinking 10,000 minimum. No. Yeah, no. Okay. So, I mean, and you'll find a lot of them used on marketplace, you know, in pretty great condition for still okay. about 35 or so. And it's a Honda. So, okay. Dude, it's a blast. And there's all kinds of stuff in that. All right, I can't do stuff with things in my hand, so I'm gonna put this up. That's a keep. I should put it away. Huh? Don't put it down. Put it away. So less than four thousand bucks for a for a bike. Yeah. Right. Wow. You know, on windy days though, out on the country roads, I mean, I'll just get kicked around. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Is it still up? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. Sweet. It looked actually small. I was surprised. Oh, really? Yeah. I wouldn't. I've never really seen one there. Yeah, that one, it, it, it's just odd shaped. It looks like an, it's egg shaped versus, you know, balloon shaped. All right, yeah, I'm out of here. All right, have a good day. Hmm, a little bit of metal. Or is it plastic? It's plastic. Hey, hey, what is up? Got a present for you. Here's the pants to go with that pot. Dude, those look nice. They are. Whirl. Yeah. All right. She, she gets rid of them because she wants something new. Okay. So they're still in excellent I'm going to use so, these. So yeah. you, you said you were going to use the other one? Yeah. And so there you go. Most excellent. Thank you, sir. Well, take care. All right, man. Have a good See one. you around. Nice. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was thinking about buying a frying pan today. But then attention deficit took over and I wound up doing four other things that weren't on the list of to do. And then I, at the last moment, I'm like, I want to go scrapping. <laughs> yeah, thanks God. Thanks for attention deficit. It's my superpower. That's what I thought it was. A little bit old metal. It's a hockey stick. You can still see the smoke from the uh, Alberta wildfires. And today's award for the most awesome person goes to Go Copper on the curb. Wow. Seriously, thank you. I was thinking for a second, is my, my window down? <laughs> the 
this is all steel, right? Yep. Are those metal? Hmm. Partially. Hmm. So, these are good enough to where I think someone that can use them could use them. <laughs> Words. What's up with that? All right. So, I've done the route. The complete route. And uh, this is what we got. Yeah. Yeah. We got some vitamin copper in the front seat. We got some of this aluminum. Um, I did find a a stove, uh, an oven at my uh, in my neighborhood as I was leaving to go grocery shopping yesterday. So I did put that in my backyard. Um, I can't just leave scrap on the curb, can I? So. I'm probably going to go to my house. I'm going to put that white oven on my truck and take the aluminum off. So in the morning, the truck's going to look a little different. But yeah, let's go ahead and pick up this operation in the morning. Good morning. Yeah, the auto snap tool doesn't work overnight. Hey, that's better. Find some stuff. A little present on the curb. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Rufus. I'm a sucker for a coffee table. <laughs> I have no idea what you are. Nope. Kind of significant weight. <laughs> it was heavy. Wow. <laughs> Whatever. I give up. That looks like a good 48 by 44 way pallet. There's nothing wrong with that. This is the type of thing that I would love to give to the scrapyard because I know that it will serve them well. This guy's doing laps with a trailer. Yeah, he's scrapping. That's a trailer scrapper. My curiosity is peaked. <laughs> what? Metal? Plastic? What is it? I don't know what it is, but I want it. I want it for drum purposes. a little aluminum wait a minute that's not aluminum <laughs> I got tricked again <gasps> no way this is another oh blue man group eat your heart out Good old scrap metal. Cool. 
full. You can tight them up. Thanks, folks. Disintegrating. Not integrating, disintegrating. Hurricane. This thing just digs in, in all directions. No, I'm sorry, electrician, not plumber, electrician. What is this? It's aluminum. Yeah. I guess it says it's a standoff safety ladder stabilizer. Okay. I like having stable ladders, that's for sure. All right, not metal, not metal, not metal. All right. Is that metal? I think it is. Hmm. I think that is keepable. Yep. Tools on the curb. I want to see if there are lawnmowers in these boxes. Oh, that's an electric one. Yeah. Oh yeah, they look like good pallets as well. Palace? No, oh, pallets. That's highly palatable. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah, all broke up. Yeah, this one's too broke up. Yep. What about this one? Oh, you're good. Hmm. So <laughs> these doves. tie this one down too. It's turning into a pallet day. Hmm. Pool noodles. Oodles of pool noodles. Some skewers. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> what am I going to do with that? Ooh, those are the fuel. Oh no. Yep, I got fuel on my gloves. Oh, that's irritating. Super irritating. I don't want that smell getting all over the place. Well, I didn't go through the glove yet. Had to break out a set of gloves that don't have. Tiki torch juice on them. Ooh. Hey, cardboard doesn't go into this one. Wait, is this the cardboard dumpster? Ugh. 
Oops. I'm able to break styrofoam with a single bound. So I'm going to drop the pallets off first. And then I'll do my weigh in. Tie the whole truck first. All right, that took forever. Really, you're stuck now. Plus, I I talked to Glenn over there. Oh, scrap and pallets don't mix very well. Good? You good? No? All right, hang on. I should help him out a little bit. So, all right. Good old Glenn. You know, now that I think about it, I should push these over where they actually fall. Tiki torches. Yeah, not very much. Oh, I should clip that cord. Out. Five cents a pound insulated copper wire. All right, so I dropped off the two pallets. Now I can weigh. I have to remember to take that piece of aluminum or not throw that clean aluminum into the shred pile. I think it's aluminum and not galvanized steel. Yeah, it's it's probably 240 pounds of scrap. I'm guessing. Six, seven, eight, zero. Yeah, this room right next to Glenn. Between Glenn and the Craw. Yeah. Uh oh, because I ran over something. Hopefully I didn't lose a tire. Oh, okay. I was wondering if I lost a tire. <laughs> oh, 
I can go much farther. Until I hear the crunch. So 93 Chevy, huh? All right. That's nothing. For a, for a Chevy, that's nothing. You're not keeping this, are you? Huh? Uh, yeah, this is steel, I think. That's all. So what's been going on with you? I haven't seen you in a while. Well, they, uh, they took out, uh, they took out part of my bladder. What? You had an operation? Mm -hmm. Oh. like you got the noodles off of this one that radiator yeah that them come off of yeah weighed 48 pounds 48 car, wow copper. so about a buck a buck a pound a buck and a half a pound. <laughs> so you got 60 something bucks for that did you already turn it in okay Cause sometimes I see you got stacks of them them radiators. I didn't realize you had three sisters. I thought you only had one. I only met one of your sisters. She, yeah, she came over. We're we're having coffee at your shop. She doesn't get on you about stuff. She's more like me. Okay. Yeah, you're you're pretty chill. I mean, when when it matters, when it matters, you you got something to say, but. Glenn just asked if he could help me. I'm like, no, I just got a little bit, which is true. Not very much at all. It, but can't keep everything they say. All right, I'm gonna see if this is. Where's there it is? Nope, that's all aluminum. All right, will you stay there? I'll bet you won't. stuff off first. I can still smell that tiki torch fuel. drum tubes yeah 
Okay, this was from my last video. Baby craw. Whoa. I took the car apart. It's an old Chevy as well. Oh, it's been a wreck. stove from Saturday before I went shopping is going to be <laughs> the kicker. I have no idea how much I weigh. Because I'm going the wrong way. Hey, hey, Glenn! $15. 58 bucks? All right. What's up, Michael? I also dropped off two pallets. Put them on the pile. <laughs> I should have had that out. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Do your thing, man. Put it away. You, you, you ought to be nervous. You don't realize what I, you don't know my past. My dark black past. How was your weekend, dude? It was awesome. Nice. It was. It was relaxing. Um, man, I got stuff done. You did gardening, right? Um, I, my basement, working in my basement and stuff. Nice. No, speaking of gardening, I got a plant stuff in my I, I got a couple of big pots that I need to put some plants into nice. so that's gonna be my garden well, Ready, Ready, okay it would have been it would have been 25 35 without them pallets I might be your number today. Yeah, man. All right. I'll see you. See you All right. What's up, buddy? I think I'm parked in the way. All right. Thanks, God. You are awesome. Thanks for this day. Thanks for trucks. Thanks for tools. All right. See you later, my friend. And thank you for friends, God. Lord. I'm gonna ask that uh, I become a better friend, that we become better friends to those that need a friend. Let me, let us be better friends to those that need a friend. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right. Pull the camera over here. Is that better? Sporting my new scrap belt and hat. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, five dollars each for the pallets. Um, two hundred and sixty pounds. Hey, hey, what's hey, up, Mike? Big money? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm rolling in the dough. Yeah. <laughs> if they give you the good price. Um. Nope. No. <laughs> it's all, I'm always gonna say no. Yeah. <laughs> no. <Always> no. <laughs> so. Yeah, $195 net ton, speaking of price. So it's almost 10 cents a pound, and I need to get out of the way. So thanks for hanging out with me. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Be awesome. Do your thing. Be you. Oh, I got to.
gotta put on my seatbelt too. Safety second. Wondering if I can sneak in on Olivia. Yeah, I um, I did a little me scrapping the other day. I found all these symbols, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven symbols, and a kick pedal. But this is what I want. Yep, yep, yep. medium roast now what I need to do is uh, not put too much in I know I probably should measure it huh? but I don't if I put in too much it gets bitter so I am thinking that I need to make a bulletproof salad. That's about enough. Okay, so we got water. That's not too much. A little bit of this. That takes any bitterness away. Quick to that seat. Sometimes if this doesn't seat properly, water just goes all over the place. That's probably the reason why I found this in the dumpster. All right, little MCT oil. Need another spoon. I'm going kind of quick because the second Olivia knows that I'm home, she's going to want to eat and go out. The cool thing about these medium chain fatty acids it goes right to the liver and they produce ketones. Yep. Look it up. MCT oil. Right, you, you're working? Cool. Hopefully this isn't too boring. Yeah, I had to separate my strawberries because one of them had mold on it. So I just took it out of the package and separated it all. I should put it back into a container. Now, this is because you know I'm not doing sugar at all. This this is like as far as I'll go with sugar because there's fructose and there's a lot of fiber uh, with that. So that's that's where my sweet tooth sweet tooth is, is with uh, strawberries and and my favorite is tomatoes. Absolutely love tomatoes. I started doing my dishes from yesterday. And I always grade my own cheese because shredded cheese from the um, from the grocery store has starch on it to keep it from being sticky. And I don't want it with starch. I just don't. Because right? starch turns into sugar real quick. Uh oh. I think I woke up a sleeping giant. Good morning. How are you? What's happening? Did you have a good night night? Hmm? Did you have a good sleep? No, you didn't. Want to eat? Would you like to eat? You would. Oh, don't wag yourself in the head. No. All right, let's get you some food. Ready? Oh, here's the cup. So she gets the the uh, Nutrish, which is oh, what's her name? Okay, Rachel Ray. That's it. I like Rachel Ray's dog foods. All right, so my bulletproof salad is gonna be mushrooms 
and olives and green leafy vegetables and some shredded cheese and some hard boiled eggs. And this is super good for my microbiome, my gut bacteria. Yep, yeah, there's so much fiber here. Yeah, you see the size of that salad? And one of you taught me how to hard boil my eggs so they're easy to peel. I like these colored eggs, cage free. And because you can see with the, where the shell is with contrast to the egg white. Let me break it up in here. Do two of them. Hello, young lady. I could, is, is that an extra <laughs> hard boiled egg? Okay, hard part is done. Well, no, here's the hard part. Yeah, it is a trip eating different. Um, there's so much stuff I did not know about nutrition. I mean, I think everybody knows how to eat. Eat, tastes good, feels good, you go off. And I have always ate to just not be hungry. <laughs> and I would say that, I'm like, I wanna be unhungry. But that didn't last very long. But now that I'm learning all about the macronutrients and the micronutrients, which are the vitamins and minerals. Macronutrients are, of course, the Fat, protein, and carbohydrate. And the one carbohydrate that I never knew about that we don't digest, which is fiber. My, my gut bacteria will eat it just fine. And the they're good gut bacteria. And it turns the insoluble fiber, insoluble fiber that's in this. Actually, I don't know the difference between those two. But it turns the fiber that's in this stuff into um, fatty acids and different vitamins that my body will use. Yeah, that's a little bit too much cheese. And a whole bunch of these. Oh, that's good. And a whole bunch of these. And Lovie is quite interested. And then, of course, a little bit of ranch dressing. You don't like ranch. You like French. <laughs> She's like, try me. All right, I'm going to go eat and then take her for a walk. But you are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with us. You got a little slobber on your face. Yes, you did, Olivia. You didn't? I think you did. Olivia. Olivia. You still tired? Are you off today? Is it your day off? Another man's treasure From then to now Thank God it got better